What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a good day. Folks, we're going to have a look at Sol 302, but not from the Perseverance rover, but from the Ingenuity helicopter. Now keep in mind this camera is a 4K camera, high resolution. The photo I'm going to show you, you can actually tell me whether you believe that this is high resolution or not. And by the way, they have some more manipulating software tactics and really, really odd to say the least. So I want anybody who is a amateur photographer or professional to weigh in on this in the comment section after you watch this video. Pretty interesting. But is everything as it seems? Well, you know as well as I do, most of the time it's not. Let's just jump right into it and I'm gonna show you what I mean. All right, here it is right here, Mars Helicopter Sol 302 Color Camera. Now you can see the description below the photo. It says NASA's Ingenuity Mars Helicopter acquired this image using its high resolution color camera. This camera is mounted in the helicopter's fuselage and pointed approximately 22 degrees below the horizon. This image was acquired on December 26, 2021, so the day after Christmas last year. Sol 302 of the Perseverance rover mission at a local mean solar time of 12.37 p.m. Image credit goes to NASA, JPL, and Caltech. All right, you can go up here, as always, on the right of the photo right there. This photo is actually pretty big. It's 4,208 by 3,120 download it as a PNG. So decent photo. Now you folks may have seen this. I think a couple of people had done this. They're saying, look at what's in front of the helicopter. That's, that's amazing. What is that? I'm going, really? Because I'm looking at the very back and the very top of this photo. Let's just jump right into this. I think you're going to find this fascinating. All right. This was the size of the photo. Blew it up a little bit. And even then folks, wait until you see this. I'm just going to show you right here. Watch this. Now you can see it's going to break apart a little bit. It's supposed to be 4K though, right? Let me just show you something. Let's go up to right about here. Now you'd expect that kind of picture, but watch what happens when you add a little brightness to it. What just happened to this photo, folks? No, seriously, what just happened to this photo? Look at it. It's a complete mess, but you can correct a little bit by putting a little blur into it. You're going to see what I mean. Okay. Now, this is what I've done with the photo. Now, when I was looking at this photo, I seen all these dark areas. I don't know if you guys can see this very well, but you can see like dark here, over here. We have what looks like lines here or striations. I'm not sure what to make of that. You folks see that, like this here? It appears to be going almost right across. It almost looks like it's got a curvature to it, see that? So what I do is just make all of these darker and anything that's lighter, we make lighter. Now, I find this pretty interesting too on the left-hand side, right here. Why does it look like we have this right here, almost like a cutoff, and it's going like this? Almost like this is straight, and then it goes down into this valley. Is it possible that this helicopter is on a ledge type thing, maybe on a butte or whatever it may be, and it's looking down, if you were to go like this, and then it drops down considerably down into this valley? Is that a possibility? It could very well be, and you'll understand what I'm talking about when we fully enhance this. Now, if you were to jump way in the back here, Right off the bat, folks, I don't need to see a whole lot, and I can tell something doesn't look right here. You say, well, those are just rocks. Are they? Hmm. I looked at those two right there. This is what I see. I see this right here. It looks like a little bit lighter going across here. Notice how it almost looks completely straight. It goes like this around it, and it looks like a perfectly straight line underneath it. This one's got a little bit lighter area, also doing the same, right? Looks like it goes in between here. Hmm. Okay. This looks kind of odd. And something way up in here, you guys see this right here? All this in here? Really, really bizarre looking. There's some white features inside here. See that right there? And you can see it in between this manipulation down here. I'm looking at these things and I'm saying, why does it look so broken apart? And of course they'll say, well, it's because it's X amount of miles away or whatever. I don't think that's the case. However, I do think after I enhance the photo, you'll see that I believe it's looking down at this area. You got what looks like almost perfect, other than doing that, it looks like a, almost a perfect arch type thing. Something like this going down. But again, I looked at the overall folks, and when I looked at this, I see what looks like these other lines, other crazy things in here. We've got pieces like this here. See how it's like, it looks like it's smooth going up like this, and it comes back down. 
straight in the back. It almost looks like it curves upward, right? And this is kind of goofy too. This is kind of weird. This piece right here, this is nothing more than fluff. This is to get rid of more information, so they run this right across, right? And you can see how much more evident this is when we really get into this. All right, so the first thing I do is equalize and see if I can bring anything out of this photo. Okay, notice you can see this a lot better now, the darker areas, whatever may be sitting here. And again, notice these like striations here on the right-hand side where you can see lines like this here. But again, it appears to almost have a curvature to them like it's doing this. See this right here? There's something right here. I don't know if you guys can see this. This is pretty cool. And I want you to remember this because when we get into this more and more, you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. It appears to almost have these kind of weird legs going across and then coming back down. You see that? Right there. Okay. Go across. Again, we got these weird, like, darker pieces. What I want to do is I want to make them darker and see if we can bring anything out. Here's these other pieces here. And again, we can see there's a little bit of white hair in there coming through the manipulation. See that? This piece here. Like I said, add a little blur. We can get rid of this other weird overlay, if you will. We've got these 90 degree angles right here. Got something that looks like it's doing this. Something square inside that. Yeah. Hmm. Again, folks, I don't think this is actually just all rock. This is pretty wild. It almost looks like it's nothing more than a flat surface, and it is not. This is what I find cool, too. Go up to these two so-called rocks again, and like I said, we get this weird edge. You see that? It's like it's going completely straight under this object, under these so-called objects, or are they objects? Kind of looks like it's doing that, coming back out, right? Hmm. But what I also found fascinating was these straight edges here. Very faint, going like this. You'll see this much better, and you can see what they do is, let's suppose this rock here. Let's just pick a rock. It doesn't matter which one it is. Okay, let's say this one right here, the small white one right here. We want to get rid of that. So what I'm going to do is, what I would do is I'd go like this. I'd kind of make like a line around it, and then put a texture inside to get it, to get rid of it. And what you're going to see around this area right here is exactly what they do. There's a base to this thing. And you can see where they've actually taken out some pieces and gotten rid of this. Really, really bizarre how they've done this. All right, so let's get into the first stage. See if we can pull it out. Okay, so let's get back into that area where it's supposed to be these two rocks or whatever they're supposed to be. And check this out, folks. And you're going to see there's a whole lot better. I'm going to do a full enhancement on this. Again, this white piece nice and straight across. We've got this going like this and somehow going in. I'm not sure what to make of that. Again, what is it with this weird texture on this? Even when I back out, folks, look. Back out, back out, back out. You should not still see this backing out of the photo. This is a brand new manipulation they decided to do on this stuff. Again, go back into here. You can see this line literally almost going like this. Okay, there's something right here where they blocked out, but notice the line right here as well, where you can see right here. So there's something here. This is not the end of it, right there. And it's just weird how we have this, what looks like, like almost like a tannish color, like this and goes down. And we have some objects. And again, this one here on the right, right there. But look at this, look at the texture. See the difference in the texture? You can see something's here. So what I do is just burn over them and see if we can get them to pop. Are they just 2D or are they 3D? Hmm, I don't know. Notice how there's other objects here. Okay, okay, without further ado, let's go into the full enhancement. All right, again, this piece right here. Something right here. Objects are right here. It looks like layered ground, right? It looks like, in other words, it steps up here, goes up to the next step, goes up to the next step, up this hill, right? You've got something laying here, not sure what to make of any of that, but you can see something right here doing this. Again, not sure. This 
object right here does not look natural at all. Let's go back to the original. You can see it right there. It looks like it's doing this, but I can see it looks like a leg coming down right here, going down over to here. There it is. Let's move it to the right. Folks, check this out. Again, it looks like this layered thing going up, like they can go up different layers. Like even the Mayans and the ancient civilizations, a lot of them would do that. They have layers upon layers, like almost like steps. You can go up to these, right? And we have these white objects now. You can see them. Some of them have holes in them. You can see this one just right there. Check that out closely, folks. Let me just move this in. Right there. You can see that. Okay. Other small pieces. Again, this is being hidden with manipulation. And a new one at that, folks. Okay. Here. You can see the white now peeking out. Something's doing this. You can see this going like this. And this item here. Going down. I thought these are two separate pieces. They are not. See that? This literally comes around. Goes down. This part comes out. Almost looks like this here. And then goes back down. Look at what they've done here. Remember I said they'd outline something and then block it out? Something right here, right there. See that? Underneath it. And you can see these little pieces on these ledges look like they're squared off areas. Okay. This is nothing more than a junk pile. You can see what looks like mechanical parts or are they structures depending on how close or how far these are. All inside here and they're trying to cover them up. But again, if you were to look at it like this from a distance, you would never be able to tell that. Why? because this goofy little pattern they put over this photo. Now, people will argue, no, they're not. They're not doing that. You're just out of your mind. Really? Because I'm still zooming out and I can still see this texture. Keep going, keep going. I can still see it. Why am I seeing that? Look, look at what this does. As soon as you hit six, I can put a little blur into it and then we can sharpen it up a bit like that. Back out. Things are not as bad. Check this out, folks. Let me back out of this. Go over to here. Whiter pieces. And I'm going to show you this in black and white just in a moment. But again, these are pieces that are being hidden under this manipulation. We can see like other pieces here. So that this doesn't stop here. All of this is covering something. And I believe this right here is a fluff area. You can see the transition line right there where they're hiding this stuff. And yet, they want to play it off like there's nothing here. But when you think this is nothing more up here than a couple rocks laying there, it is not. Look at it. That is really awesome the way they go about to try to hide this. This piece, now maybe I'm wrong, this piece right here looks like it actually closes shut onto this piece. Notice the shape underneath it. Okay? That's coming up, going like this. How do we know that this thing here doesn't actually close down into this area? Here, again. What I'm seeing is NASA, JPL, even if it's somebody else who's got their hands in this, they are putting a manipulation over there trying to hide what's really in this photo. Again, look at the difference of all this garbage in here and this overlay. Wow. This is incredible. Again, put a little blur into it. We can get rid of most of that. All right, let me just back out, give you the far away perspective. Is it possible, again, that this helicopter is on this ledge right here? Here's the edge, that this doesn't go straight across and then drop down, drop down and then into this valley area. That's a very good possibility. And this is the reason why it looks like they could be very small, and especially if you could just simply walk over to this and go to the back, they'd be super tiny. So let's go to a little bit darker on this, have a, another look. 
Again, folks, we're not going to bring out any real good detail other than the parts they left in, and you can pretty much see that. What looks like different bits and pieces of machinery, structures. I'm seeing things in here that don't look natural. Like over here. Okay. Now let's do the black and white. Get rid of the colors so they don't mess with your eyes. Have a closer look at this area. Go a little bit more to the left. Go back and forth a little bit. Get the color out. Get it from messing up your eyes. Again, even way up in here in the back. You can see bits and pieces peeking out. But they're there. These other objects. Something right here. And all this right here in the back, what looks like to run along this area. And something over here. Look at the way this does this right here, folks. Look at this. Angles out, straight down. Folks, what? Even this right here. Again, going to the one on the right here. And folks, I didn't even do the whole photo and his other things in it. You could see that. Absolutely crazy. So two things are going on. Because we don't have a scale to this. And a lot of people are frustrated. You're not more frustrated than I am. Just believe that. Okay. So either this is way off in the distance. Down here. In the back. For all we know, this picture is being taken from a top of a butte or hill or something. And it's looking way down in that valley area. Is that a possibility? I think so. If it is not, then again, we're dealing with something or beings that are much, much smaller. One of the two. I believe it's sitting and perched up on some kind of butte or hill. Leave this like this. You folks have a look and tell me what you think. I'm going to put it in the black and white. Pause it right here and have a look. And there you go, folks. Folks, this is absolutely crazy. When I saw this photo, I said, why are we seeing like these docket areas? Some of them look like they're half round and they're right underneath each other like repeating the pattern underneath. And then I looked at the side. I went, why are we seeing what looks like a light tannish area and then more of a docker area? And it looks like it's squared off on the left-hand side of the photo. What is going on? I believe those are mechanical parts. Now, if they are a distance away, meaning the helicopter is a distance away from those objects, is it possible they're structures? I don't know. But I can tell you this, they look mechanical and they're definitely intelligently made no matter what they are. As always, guys, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I want to hear what you've got to say. Please like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, got many more photos coming up, so stay tuned for that. And as always, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.